Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your March 2024 monthly reading. Sagittarius, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you, so please take what resonates. Leave the rest. Feel free to check your moon and rising, your Venus, um, for other guidance or answers to questions that you're looking for. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. I appreciate all of you being here. My name is Rudy, and I, uh, I'm really happy you're here. I'm glad we're sharing energy together, so I appreciate it. All right. Let's see what we have. We have the Page of Wands, Wheel of Fortune in the World, the Moon, Eight of Cups, and I drop cards. <laughs> All right, one more for you. Let's go with the World, Strength. Love it. It's crazy because there is 22 major arcana cards, and you have one, two, three, four. You have four of the 22 showing up in your reading. So this is a very potent month for you. It's a very, probably high vibrational, very much a, um, a go-getter month, you know, go get him, go get her, go, go for it month type of thing is what I'm feeling. It's a very proactive month. So bottom of the deck is your subconscious, and it's just showing that you're not really feeling it. You might not be feeling it, but it's like the energy is carrying you through it. You could have, have had a heartbreak. You could have had a loss with the Three of Swords energy. Card under, that's the sun. So it's showing that the sun's going to shine. You know, things are going to be okay. Days are going to be brighter. It's just, and I'm not trying to belittle loss or belittle heartache, but it's just, you know, to, um, to keep going. This is why it's subconscious. It's not showing up in the reading. So you could be dealing with something um, mental. You could be dealing with something, uh, something that you heard, some type of knowledge that you just found out. You could be dealing from a, a heart, you know, a heartbreak. But we have the Page of Wands and the Moon. So I feel like you're ready to set off on a new adventure. This is an energy that is waning. It's still going to carry through this month, but it's kind of what you're coming into. Like you're ready to start a new adventure. You're ready to see what's out there. You're ready to go after your desires, your dreams, what you want to focus on. And, you know, the Moon's a beautiful card of dreams. Now, the Moon card showing up here, we do have, um, the Moon's a card of Pisces. But we have a new moon in August on the 4th. It's in Leo. And then we have a full moon on the 19th in Aquarius. And the new moon in this month is all about self-expression. And that kind of showing what is in your heart. So you might have to self-express this to people or to, to who needs to hear it um, on that new moon on the 4th. And the full moon is about... Um, kind of to remind you to think about why you want things, why, why you want to accomplish certain things and what you can um, kind of what you can contribute to the greater good, right? What you can contribute, make it to, to make it a positive contribution. We have the page one starting in the new adventure to your dreams, to your hopes, to your wishes, to this moon energy. Pay attention to your dreams. Maybe keep a dream journal this month starting on the 1st. See what's going on there. Um, I feel like something is not what it seems because, you know, she looks like a woman, but she's really some type of sea creature. So it's like you might find out somebody's not what they seem. It could have something to do with this. Um, you could be dealing with that. Somebody showed their true colors. Maybe you investigated into something. Maybe you looked into somebody. Maybe you even did a um, private investigator or something like that. The moon can be a deception card. It can be a card of something being hidden. It can also be a card of illuminating a path, showing you a path forward, showing you a way forward, showing you the truth. 
Then we have the Wheel of Fortune, and it's, I feel like things change. There's a change. There's a shift in energy. Things are looking up. Things are moving your way. And I feel like you realize things that you have to leave behind, things that you have to walk away from that no longer serve you. Um, Wheel of Fortune is a beautiful card of fate, and it's a card of, um, you know, something coming full circle, something coming into um, full circle, right? Full circle and being able to move forward then, you know, kind of the wheels going up. And you're you're on that uphill ride so things are go looking up and going very well for you but it's she's holding the watch so it's also talking about not um in the heart that's beautiful you can see that uh you know time is of the essence it's not something that's going to stay so kind of strike while the iron's hot and it can and it could afford you enough time to see that what you have to walk away from what you have to leave behind to start on your new journey or your new path with that page of wands energy. And I feel too that you are appreciative of life lessons that you've learned. You might have not been when you were learning them, but I feel like you're appreciative of them now and you're really you're really taking your time to take in what's around you and take in the lessons that you learned is kind of what I'm feeling. And you have the world, which is another card of an ending of a culmination of um, something. It could be travel. There could be travel involved with the world. It can also be where you are finishing a big, like you went to school and now it's time for you to get a job. You know, maybe you graduated, maybe you're an attorney, maybe you're a doctor, maybe you're just, not just, but maybe, you know, you're whatever, whatever you went to school for, maybe now it's time for you to, to show what you can do. Um, but it's a completion of a cycle. It's something that you are ending in a sense, but something new can begin. And I think it goes really well with this Eight of Cups. It's like whatever you're walking away from, knowing that things are looking up, things are changing. And it's like, I don't need this old part anymore. So kind of like if you're married, maybe now you're divorced or you're divorcing or something like that with the world card. And then you can start anew the very last card of the major arcana and so it comes full circle right in a sense it comes full circle it can be travel it can be going out of country even we're the strength card and that's a card too that is underneath it that talks about you know having the tenacity to get through things, having the foresight to get through things, understanding what it takes to get through things. Hmm. I just feel with the strength card with the world, it's like whatever it is that you're walking away from, whatever it is that's coming to an end or a closure for you that can have something to do with this three of swords energy that you are having the restraint or the compassion or the higher vibration with the strength card to not um, be little or be mean or, uh, you know, be nasty to somebody, that you're taking the upper road, that you're showing, you're setting an example here with the strength card. And it could be where you were with somebody and you were, you know, in a different country, now you're going back home or vice versa even. Now you have to let me know. Again, we have the sun, you know, the sun's next, and then we have the beautiful queen of swords, so truth is going to come out. It's going to be truth that's going to be revealed, again, with the sun with the moon card. Hmm. So we have strength, and it's a card of Leo. Wheel, wheel of Fortune in the world, uh, they're both um, fixed signs. So they're Scorpio, uh, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo on both of these. And then the moon is Pisces. Very interesting. Very interesting, Sag. All right, let's take a look at... And you know... 
you like to keep moving. You like to keep going. So I feel that with the world card, there could be travel, the wheel of fortune, you know, things are looking up, things are going in the direction that you want them to go. But I also feel like you have to walk away from a situation or a person or something that is no longer serving you, even though, I mean, you could have gave it, you could have gave it a, a lot, you know, you could have tried, you could have really tried. Health. Career. Finance. And love. Bottom of the deck. Woo. Health for our Sagittarius. Whoops. Sorry. Not the camera. Did everything, right? Good? All right. Health. We have abundance and luck. We have fish. Interesting. Um, I see this as like if you join a gym, you're with people. If you are doing any type of exercise, you're with people. You know, you have clubs or you're doing something together. Uh, abundance and luck. I feel also that um, you could have this abundance of energy that you need to burn off. And, you know, you could be really lucky to have that. Maybe most people don't have it. Maybe you like to exercise and you like to take care of yourself. I just feel like there is, um, you're, you're amongst a lot of like-minded people. And I feel like you probably do have an abundance of energy and that, you know, you could be, um, you know, you do things as groups or you do, do things together with other people. But I feel like you are very health conscious. Your career, we have nourishment and transformation the scarab um interesting because to me this is um this talks about to me the communication so you could have very com very good communication skills at work and i feel like it can maybe transform the area that you're in it could add a new dimension to whatever it is you do um as far as the nourishment i just feel like you feel you know satisfied and um at your job and, and at what you do for your career. To me, there can also be a, um, a potential for advancement or expansion. Um, there can be you know, you could be getting a leg up or you could be getting a, a raise or a promotion also. Finances, you have wheel, endings and beginnings. Interesting. I see this as almost like a 401k. I almost feel like if you're shifting or doing jobs or changing jobs or, hmm, you could be going from one company to another too in this world card travel. There's a lot of circles. There's a lot of cyclical going around here. And you have this wheel endings and beginnings. I see this as like a 401k where you cash it out or you roll it over and start new. Do this, do that, start new. Um, you know, take the money out of this bank, put it in this bank, start new. It's like a, a continuous wheel is what I feel with that. And love. We have loyalty and determination with the dog. Aww. If you're in a relationship, this speaks volumes. I feel like there's a lot of, of course, with everything we just read, um, you know, hmm, something's going on with the heartache, but it could be a friend. It doesn't have to be a lover, but if you're in a relationship, you know, you want it to be fiercely loyal and you're determined to have a good relationship. I feel like if you are not in a relationship, you're wanting one that is, um, long-term that you're not looking just for a one night stand. You're not looking for, uh, just just for now, you're looking for, you know, the ever after or for a long, long time at least. Getting to know somebody, getting really to know somebody. And I feel like there's a determination there on both parts for single and being together. That you are um, wanting to manifest this relationship or if you're in the relationship to continue on. And trust and loyalty are very, very important to you as, as they should be in any relationship. All right. I'll just pull an enchanted map oracle card for you guys to wrap up this reading. 
you have to let me know, Sagittarius, how this relates to you. Um, if it doesn't fit, don't make it. You know, don't don't uh, try to make it make it be your reading just because it says Sagittarius, because it's not for everybody. All right, dry desert, interesting. Hmm. It's interesting because I see this as a, it's like a long road that you've been on or a long road that you're on. You know, the book says three and one's four, and that's a uh, number of stability. Looking for that stability, possibly. Dig deep for inspiration and truth. Now is the time to become resilient and adaptable. Very interesting because of the truth with the moon. Dig deep. You know, as I said, you might be like an investigator. <clears throat> Is your life presenting you with opportunities that seem to yield nothing? Have your ideas dried up? Does it feel like you're on the endless journey through a dry, hot, lifeless desert? This card reminds you that there are times when you're meant to become resilient as you journey through harsher circumstances. You're being required to conserve your energy until, after consistent effort, you reach the oasis you're searching for. Consider the creatures that live in these conditions. They have adapted to thrive in spite of the outer environment. In a desert, water essential for life can be found deep underground. Go within, go deep within yourself now and find your truth there. Let spirit sustain you while you locate the real source. Whatever it is you're asking about will not be found in the conditions you're in until you move past the surface and things choose until you move past the surface of things and choose to do the real work and discover the answers deep within you. This may not seem like the most productive time, but looks are deceiving. This is the most important place to find what's truly right for you. I think that sums up the moon beautifully. And also this Wheel of Fortune where things are shifting and things are changing and, and you may be afforded this time um, with an ending of a cycle and, and or travel or something where you can really figure out this Three of Swords energy, whatever this is for you. Heartache, hurt, disappointment, loss. Could be mental struggle. Physically, mentally, spiritually. But know that you're going to come out on the other side. It's a beautiful sun card. It's card of Leo. Beautiful sun. New day, new dawn, new beginning. New start. Fresh start. Right? You have that with the will of fortune. Act now. When things are presented, go ahead and act now. Even if it's, you know, to go on a solo vacation somewhere or to go and get away or while you're wherever it is at work to take some time for you, right? All right. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe and be blessed. Sagittarius, if this sounds like anybody that you know, please feel free to share. Um, it could be another Sagittarius. It could just be somebody, you know, that you know that sounds like them what sounds just what they're going through so please feel free to share i thank you for your time i thank you for your energy and i thank you for watching so very much if you've lasted this long give me a thumbs up give me a hey i made it <laughs> thank you all and i will see you guys next time bye for now